space. Dr. Deborah Barnhard is the CEO of the Space and Rocket Center here in Huntsville. She knows space and she knows space history and she's gonna share some of that with us today. Not only is she a space advocate, she is also a Navy girl. She was one of the 10, first 10 females allowed in the Navy and served on several ships and, uh, and got her, uh, her war creds, right? And working, or surface warfare, right? So I just, I'm always impressed uh, when, I'm, when I'm around Deborah. I'm always um, just uh, reinvigorated, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy listening to her today. So Dr. Deborah Barnhart, come on up. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Rocket City, and welcome to the Rocket City for those of you from out of town. Um, I'm so happy Admiral El Ellis is here because finally we have a preponderance of Navy people in Huntsville. It's just there's no respect when you're a captain in Huntsville. Hey, if you were here in the 1960s, this is a billboard you might have seen driving around Huntsville. And I'll tell you what, we're still the space capital universe as far as I'm concerned. We're looking forward to the 50th anniversary of Apollo. You know, we had President Kennedy visit us here, and he and he and Von Braun were roaming around looking at what was going on there. And we're going to have next year uh, bronze statues made of this picture, and we're going to put them at the base of our Saturn V over there. So if any of you in your communities would like to have a copy of that, I'm sure we can work with the guys that are making them and make them for your community as well. I just thought it was amusing to uh, look back for those 50 years and see what Von Braun had planned during his Project Mars book. My favorite part is that it would take uh, 260 days, 149 tons of payload, uh, amazing, and you know, 950 supply missions. So we still have a big task ahead of us in these next 50 years to come. Now, I don't know what you're doing in your communities, but here in Huntsville, we have a very loosely organized program. The mayor asked me to be the chairman of the uh, celebration for our community, and I said, sure, why not? We'd have nothing to do next year at the Rocket Center. So what we did was we created a set of committees. We just, these are the topics, the leaders, the community leaders of these different various areas. So the arts community has a leader and the education community and the industry community. And we just said, everybody go do whatever it is you wanna do, whatever means something to you, to your organization, to your club, to your church, go ahead and plan some kind of a celebration or event or activity around the 50th anniversary of Apollo. And remember, it isn't about that we went to the moon 50 years ago. It's that we're building America's next great ship right now today in Huntsville, Alabama and around this community. And we're going back to the moon and on to Mars. That's the arc of the story for this celebration and what a celebration that is. What we did then uh, was to take our community activities and put them on our Convention and Visitors Bureau calendar, which already exists, which everybody who visits Huntsville has a chance to look there and see what's going on today. We already have over 400 events listed from the arts community, from plays and musical events, from uh, panels. We've got 40 panels that have already been established by some of our historic committee. So there are lots of things going on throughout our community throughout the whole year. And you can find those on our Huntsville Convention and Visitors Bureau website under the Apollo 50th. For the week of July 20th and preceding that, we felt that we really didn't have a chance to get national media attention in Huntsville um, on the 20th of July. So what we did is we're claiming launch day from the 16th of July because they wouldn't have gotten off the pad without Huntsville for sure. So on that Tuesday, we're gonna do three things here in Huntsville. Thing one is we're gonna set a Guinness World Record for the largest number of rockets launched simultaneously from one place at one time. We're gonna launch 5,000 rockets from the Space and Rocket Center at one time. Second thing we're gonna do is we're going to set a Guinness World Record for the largest number of rockets launched around the world in a 24 hour period. Now Space Camp has 850,000 graduates around the world in 150 countries. So we've got a pretty good base to start with, with our teachers and chaperones and alumni who've come through here. But we want this to be not about the Space and Rocket Center, not about Space Camp. We wanna see how transformative it could be if as many people on the planet as possible, young, old, I don't care, launches some kind of a rocket on that day. I don't care if it's an air launch rocket, if it's a two liter stomp rocket, or if it's one of these kits. But I think we could transform lives and fill our companies in the future if we could have young people around the world simply have the chance. 
yesterday, the NASA Visitor Centers were visiting with me, and even all of us who are working around this every single day, we built this little Estes rocket, and we took it out to the Space Camp launch pad, and we launched our rockets. And it was like a bunch of five-year-olds out there. It was so much fun. So lots of people are joining us. I want everyone, every club, every Boy Scout, we're already working with Dan Dunbecker and the AIAA worldwide. Boy Scouts worldwide, Girl Scouts worldwide are working with us. So we invite everyone to join in. We have a landing page at the Space and Rocket Center. You can sign up so you can help us with the Guinness World Record. And you can launch any kind of rocket you want to for this second record. Here in Huntsville, we're going to use, you know, smoke and fire. But around the world, it was complicated to get the little engines everywhere. So you can launch a bottle rocket, you know, stomp rocket, air rocket, anything. And we'll set a second Guinness World Record. That evening, we will have our Apollo homecoming dinner. Now, in July in Huntsville, you don't want to wear a black tie, trust me. So this is going to be more like a church homecoming supper. And we're inviting everyone who worked in the program to come and be with us. Our chairman for the committee are uh, the Von Braun family. So we're expecting Margaret and Iris and Peter, and maybe um, even Mrs. Von Braun if she feels like coming at that time. So we'll have that dinner that night. We have a couple of events going on throughout the rest of the week in our community. Here's the rocket launch. This is kind of how we're planning to do the 5,000 at one time worldwide launch, our public homecoming dinner. On Friday night, the 19th, we're going to have a party downtown. We're going to party like it's 1969 again. And <clears throat> when Von Brown left Huntsville, this is an image from that day. We were very sorry to have him go leave us and go to headquarters. But when he left, he said, my friends, there was dancing in the streets of Huntsville when we landed on the moon. I ask you, don't hang up your dancing shoes. So on Friday night, we're going to have a big don't hang up your dancing shoes party on the square, bands on every corner, and we're going to have a big time that night. Um, every day at the Space and Rocket Center next year, we will be doing a lunar landing reenactment. As you know, if you visited us, we have all the set pieces in place there. So, I mean, it's our story. We should have been doing it since the day we opened. But we'll be doing a live reenactment every single day there. And there's a couple of really cool projects going on out in the community that they just generated themselves. We're having two lunar roving vehicles built. One is a static display vehicle, and one, Polaris, decided to lean in with us with their young people, and they're using the parts from Polaris vehicles to put together a new lunar rover. And this is what they're doing. So this is just one example of one company that want to do something interesting and fun and exciting and stimulating for their employees. It means something to Polaris. So I encourage you, each of you, in your communities, in your clubs, in your homes, in your churches, do something to commemorate this event and to move forward with something that means something to you and to your, uh, your community. Our arts community is leaning in very heavily. Every one of our theater groups, and I think we have eight theater groups here in Huntsville, is doing some kind of a special play. There's a brass, Huntsville Brass Band is writing a special piece for the commemoration on the dinner on the 16th. The symphony is doing a special evening around the 50th anniversary. So please go back and encourage people in your communities to do various things. Our legacy panels have already begun and have had great attendance. These are panels on all the topics that were surrounding how we got to the moon and how we put together that program. And finally, we're going to be doing, you've seen them, uh, the horses in Phoenix and Nashville has guitars and I think Chicago did bulls maybe. So in Huntsville, we're gonna do SLSs. will be a competition for the artist and it will be a prize. I think it's a $5,000 prize for the artist. So if you're interested in any of those, just go to the Rocket Center website and you can find out how to get one of those. I think the blanks are $1,500. We're just selling them at, at cost. So if you're interested in doing that, we're going to put at least 100 of them around Huntsville. So if your company hasn't yet decided that, we'd love to have all the Huntsville community folks do that and put their SLS rocket. Rockets on parade, we're calling it. It happens that this event coincides with the Alabama 200th birthday. So they're kind of looking to Huntsville to have the big celebration in the middle of the summer to sort of be the, the climax of our year of uh, Alabama statehood. So it's a nice conjunction. And you know, we don't want to let Warner and his team down. We want to be the ones now who will pass that torch on, simple as it may be, 
It doesn't take a lot for us to stimulate the next generation and to fill our companies with great people excited and ready to go to Mars. Thank you so much.